guys welcome back to couponing with the lady I wanted to do a video today that will help both current couponers and also help new couponers I'm not sure I said that quite right I'm also because I'm doing this whole thing where I really want to help people learn how to save more in their everyday lives I'm also going to include how to use uh, one of the additional saving sources saving star uh, program that you can get involved with that helps people save money as well if you're not a couponer it's very good um, way to just save extra money without going through all the hassles of cutting coupons and using coupons and that sort of thing so I am going to show you Saving Star and some couponers use Saving Star um, as well there's a lot of drama and hubbub about whether you should be using Saving Star or not when you are couponing but I do know that some couponers will use Saving Star when they are getting products that are not um, used with coupons so who am I to judge one way or another? I use Saving Star um, quite often. So and what I do is I just let the amounts build up and build up and build up, and then at the end of the year, every year, I take that money out and I use that money as a source for my Christmas shopping. Anyway, so let's get into this and let me show you the upcoming coupons that are coming out this coming weekend, January the 1st of 2017. Happy New Year. In the inserts this weekend, we are actually getting two smart sources, two red plums, and one other one, a P&G. So this is a great weekend to start getting your inserts or maybe pick up a couple of extra inserts in the smart source number one and I'm not going to go through every single coupon because there are a lot of coupons that we are getting um, let me run through here the Aleve sometimes will go on sale at CVS they can be good aquifer goes on sale quite often Bayer Citracal Here's the Colgate's. We all use the Colgate coupons. This coupon is only 50 cents off. I have seen them go much higher. And if you look right here, it shows the um, day it expires. There's our Cottonelle coupons. We love getting Cottonelle coupons. Depends, which are actually on sale this weekend. Dr. Scholl's, Duracell, yada yada. There's the Flintstones vitamins. Uh, these are the Kleenex coupons. Um, and they look rather involved, but it's for Target. It says here at the back side. And there's the regular Kleenex. Um, usually it's on three boxes or one bundle pack. One a day's palm olive. That's usually in a, a deal that CVS will run in a bundle deal. Spend 30, get 10, that sort of thing. Back over on this side, the Scott bath tissue and Scott towels, 50 cents off. Not a very good one. Viva. Then we go into the smart source too, and I'm kind of running through it, but you can always, if you're trying to plan your deals, you can always come back to this point in the video and pause it so that you can look through to see if the coupons are there that you're wanting to be there. Carefree, $2 off two products, um, excluding the 20 and 22 count. That's pretty good. Back up. Edge and Skintimate, one dollar off one shave gel. That's really good. We usually get less of a discount on Edge and Skintimate. Finish, <gasps> finish. It's my finish coupons. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for finish coupons, and that is perfect timing for my finish coupons. Yay! Okay, so it's two dollars off one Quantum Max or Max All in One is what that should say. Um, 
Glad kitchen bags. The Lysol. Now they've got the deal, remember, with the finish and the Lysol coming up next week. I should probably tell you guys that I'm not sure if I'm going to do an early coupon run this time because I have too many coupons here. I may go Saturday night just to get some of the things that my coupons are expiring on. I'll probably turn around then and go on like Tuesday night as well. I'm not going to spend too much because I'll be honest, I am broke, 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 broke and don't get back till Tuesday. So I'll be pushing it to get just my few things on Saturday night. I will show you if I pick up some of the things on Saturday night, though. Uh, here's a ship coupon, $2 off one disposable razor. Stay free. They usually run those on sale. Red Plum number one, Advil's. We love Advil in this house. We use it all the time, so those are good. All in Snuggle, $2 off two products. That's a very good coupon. I have two printables um, right now that I was thinking of using uh, maybe Saturday night for the All or Snuggle products. Only I was looking to see it's a dollar off of any two. So for $2 off of two, that's a little bit better than what I have. Centrum, which is one of the things I think on sale. You'd have to look at my last video where I went over the sale paper thing. Let's see. L'Oreal. We always like to see L'Oreal coupons. $5 off of two for the hair color. That's a pretty good one. Skincare product, Nexium, Quilted Northern, sometimes they run those on sale. And the Red Plum number two. Now remember, I always say your mileage may vary. YMMV uh, on everything I do because just because this is the set that we're expecting to be out does not mean that every coupon is going to be in your particular set of inserts. Caress. That's a good one. Dove Body Wash. They do frequent sales for Dove. Dove Men Plus Care. Suave. Suave Professionals. They're on sale this weekend. Or upcoming week. Sundown Natural Vitamins. Vitamins are on sale. Here's the Tresemme that we talk about. Buy two regular products or two beauty full volume products and get one 11 ounce hairspray free up to six dollars and ninety nine cents that expires one fifteen and then we're getting the P&G so let's see always crest can you tell I haven't really looked through them that close to Downy Febreze, buy one, get one free, air effects. Oh, that's pretty good. There's the gain that everybody's waiting on. $2 off one detergent or flings. Excludes the five count. That's okay because we know ours are the 14 count. And usually that, well, maybe it'll show the tide. Yeah, it shows the tide over here on the other side. Loves Olay Body Wash. Oral B. Pampers, $2 off one. That's a good price because usually we get a dollar off or a dollar fifty off. Here's those Pantene coupons. Everybody's waiting on $5 off of three or $2 off two. And believe it or not, sometimes the $2 off of two will be the better deal. Secret, a dollar off two. That's pretty good. Here's the Tide, $2 off of one, and it excludes Simply Clean and Fresh and the five count pods. Okay. Always Bounty, Charmin. I don't know why the Charmin coupons are always just a quarter off. Strange. The printables were a dollar, so I have the printable. And on the Bounty, the printable was a dollar. I have it too. Puffs, 25 cents. I always collect the Puffs coupons. I love getting Puffs products. They're very good products. 
VIX, then is equal. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm going to show you uh, just an example for our new couponers. Uh, so the our couponers that know how to do this already, y'all just kind of zoom on past this part. But I wanted to show an example of how you stack the coupons to make your ideas. So I, I did just a small one right here. You would buy four of the all, the packs of all. They're two for six dollars. You buy four of them. And if you buy four of them, that makes twelve dollars. Then you would do the same thing with the boxes of the snuggle or whatever kind of snuggle you're buying. They're same thing, two for six dollars. You buy four of those. That would make twelve dollars. You would use your coupons, the $2 off of 2, $2 off of 2, and then for the snuggle, $1 off of 2, $1 off of 2. That would equal $18, and you would get back $5. Now let's say you had 10 ECBs. You would use that 10 ECBs at this point, and you would pay $8, and you would get back 5 ECBs. See? So you've made five back so your total kind of is like three now you could then turn around and take that three ECBs you could buy two of the Schick razors at seven dollars and ninety nine cents that would be fifteen dollars and ninety eight cents and you would use a uh, like I had a printable for seven dollars off of two Schick razors it expires this Saturday. That may be, this may very well be the trip I make on Saturday. I don't know yet. Um, you would use the five ECBs that you made up here, remember, and you would pay $3.98 and you would get back three ECBs. And then you would hand them one box of finish and use, I have a red box coupon for it. And this is, like I said, this is just an example to show you how you would do it. You would use three ECBs, you would pay 50 cents, and you would end up with a total out of your pocket after you've done all three of these transactions. Doing it three different times is called transaction. So these are three transactions, and with all three of them, you ended up spending $12.50 out of pocket. You got 11 products for that or you would have spent a dollar and thirteen cents per product so see that's how you stack your coupons with your purchases or your ECBs with your purchases now if I had had like up here if I had a red box coupon that was four off of fourteen razor purchase I would put that in here too because you can use a red box coupon with a printable coupon no problem at all and I've got over here, this is a secondary idea because it was also one of the sales. I could do two Venus razors at eight ninety nine and use two of the coupons from the twelve four smart source for three dollars off of each one. Then it would be twelve dollars. I would use my five ECBs, pay seven dollars, and get back six ECBs. And then I would have just rolled those six ECBs over onto something else. So that's just an idea, a way of looking at it uh, to show you a little bit better how you can do multiple transactions to save money. Or you could um, stack coupons or ECBs, roll ECBs. That's what it's called if you do an ECB here and e then take that ECB, use it in the next one, take that ECB, use it in the next one. That's called rolling ECBs. Okay, so I also wanted to show y'all a little bit about Saving Star. Now, this is that part of the um, video where I wanted to show you an optional way or an optional type of saving that you could do maybe if you don't really want to get into you know doing couponing you could do this saving star idea and uh, what saving star is is a program that you would link your cards to like Brookshire's or um, let's see Brookshire's has a card CVS has a card I think Walgreens has a card whatever Whatever you have card-wise, you could link it to this program. 
and once you register and you put in your cards I'll show you here I'll go to my account it's gonna take its time there it goes um, once you register it will tell you uh, to put in what stores you use so whether that's CVS or Brookshire's or whatever you put all those in there if you have any cards for those stores then you would list those there um, you can also use receipts you can submit receipts so how it works basically you select the offers on the site that you're interested in or that you think you will buy you use your card at your checkout or you take a picture of your receipt and then you get the cash into your Savings Star account. Sometimes, and it says here, um, uh, discounts are not received at the checkout. And see, they they call them discounts. Savings will post within two to twenty-two days, depending on the store. You'll receive an email when they post to your account. Um, you cannot cash out below five dollars. However, when you do cash out, you can tell it to go to your bank. You can tell it to go to your PayPal. And I have no clue what American Forest is. It's a charitable donation of some sort. So let's say you've already registered your cards. You've already um, put in what stores you use. Then what you do is uh, I try to go like once a week or so. And I just pull it up on my computer and I will go through and I'll look and see the things that I'm interested in buying at the store possibly and when I find what I want I will click I want this and it turns into this it says activated here and you literally do this going all the way down the page there's lots of different offers and you'll notice on some of them, like this one is save $3 when you spend $12. There's, this says boost your progress towards this $12 spending goal. So it's activated and I want to boost my progress. It expires 1231. I wanted to show you all that too. So you would click boost my progress and it pops up with a box and you could get two dollars of a boost towards this offer spending when you purchase one bush's sriracha rotational beans product so if you do this particular activity you buy this particular type of beans it would boost you to do that and you have it activated so you click done and you go on down now, once something has been redeemed, it changes. Surely I've got something in here that I have redeemed. Ah, redeemed. Progresso soup. Save a dollar when you buy two. So when you buy two Progresso soups, then it would redeem this and it would put a dollar into your account. And they have lots of different things. And I just go through and I mark anything and everything that I think I could possibly at some point or another buy at any of my stores that I have marked. If it works out that I actually buy those products before the expiration date and some of these will say one time use only. Um, some of them will let you do it like that says any combination some of them I don't know I haven't seen any that say more than may redeem more than once most of them are one time only this one is five dollars when you spend 30 on any of the Cody fragrances and it will let you uh, build up over time see purchases may be made over multiple shopping trips so maybe I spend five dollars tomorrow and I spend ten dollars next week up until this expiration date 
I can spend it in any increments I want. And then as they um, redeem, you'll notice up here at the top, you have $22.75 in your account. Now, I've been doing the Saving Star thing, oh, probably, I'd say three months, maybe a little bit longer, but right, right at three months or better. Um, been paying attention to it anyway. And so that's not bad. I've earned $20 in there. I could pay out at this point, but I'm just going to let it keep rolling. And I'm going to let it build up all the way up until Christmas next year. And then in December, I'm um, probably late November, I'll cash it out. And that'll be extra cash for me to use towards my Christmas for next year. So it's just an extra way that you could look at for saving. I thought that you might be interested in. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I know it's probably a little long. I'm sorry, but I'm really trying to teach y'all how to go about saving, how to um, go about couponing uh, to help you learn how to coupon and how to um, go through your coupons and figure out what you want to do with them. I certainly hope it's helped. I know that my normal everyday couponers are probably get a little bored with this sort of thing just scan on through it I just wanted to try to help for the new people and then give my normal everyday couponers a chance to look at the coupons that are coming up to okay guys I hope y'all have a wonderful wonderful week a happy new year and a wonderful year to come bye guys thanks for watching